Hi, this is another podcast from Coburg Maths. In this podcast, we're going to look at solving problems using diagrams. The problem we're going to look at is an extension of the Pythagoras theorem problem. In the following diagram, you're required to find the length from point A to point H that runs through the inside of that cube. And the side length of the cube is 5 centimetres. Okay, the first thing we need to do is understand the problem. So what I'd like you to do is to write a sentence in your own words that explains what the problem is actually asking. The next thing we're going to do is plan our solution. So what I want you to do is think about the cube and how many right angled triangles can you see inside the cube or around the outside? And how many you need to use to find the length AH? Next we're going to draw some pictures that will help us find out the lengths we need in order to calculate the length of AH. We might also use Pythagoras. Something about maths I'd like to share with you How to find the hypotenuse Of right triangles Add together the squares Of the other two sides Then you square root the sum And to your surprise What's the answer? That you'll always know how to find Theory. That will always come to your mind Square A, square B together Make square C Hey guys, welcome to Math in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to be talking about the Pythagorean Theorem in 60 Seconds. So let's give it a shot here. Alright, the Pythagorean Theorem is used when you have right triangles and you want to find out what one of the sides are. It's like for here, we label our sides like this. We make them A, B, and C. Um, for A and B, as long as you make the two shorter sides A and B, it doesn't matter which one you call which. C, though, always has to be what we call the hypotenuse which is the longest side of the triangle. The way you can tell it's the longest is you look for the right angle and see which side is pointing at. It's pointing at that one, so it's the longest side. And the Pythagorean theorem itself is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's try that now with our own problem. So a and b are the two and the three. So we have two squared plus three squared. It's going to give us c squared. Two squared is four. Three squared is nine. And we'll add those together and get 13. Now if we want to solve for c, we need to get rid of that square. The opposite of squaring is square rooting. So I'm going to square root both sides. So there we go. c equals the square root of 13. Alright guys, I hope that makes sense. And that's the Pythagorean theorem. Um, please join us for some more videos on YouTube here. It's YouTube slash user slash math crazy tutoring. We've got tons of videos on everything from math to reading even how to get a good job interview. Alright, thanks guys. I'll talk to you again soon.